Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is your boy, your main man, your main black man, Tavius, and back another video today, baby. Today, we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video just to make the game a little bit easier and give you guys some stuff that you probably might not have known about if you are new to the game. But let's jump into this, bro. How many times have you guys tried to jump in and do a neutral attack and you guys accidentally do a forward attack, right? Basically, a forward attack is just your fair forward air if you're a smash player. There's ways to circumvent that so you don't accidentally get this instead of this so if you go into your settings over here you can actually go to controller and where you see it says neutral attack i, pr I have mine set to b because i'm a weirdo right i play on a hitbox bro also have a neutral special attack which is the same thing so if you go to in your settings and change those and you go back here right then you press forward attack you'd end up getting a forward attack instead of the neutral but if you run in and you press your macro that you have, like your specific button that you have set for a neutral attack. No matter how much you hold forward, you will, you're never going to get forward attack. You're always going to get your neutral attack. Same with your neutral special. I hit someone off the stage, right? And I want to lasso them. But since I'm moving forward, I end up getting another forward attack like this or something. But if I have neutral attack and I do forward attack and I run forward, I'm always going to get my lasso. I'm, also, I'm always going to get my neutral special. So... That is one thing that is really important, and I've been using this neutral attack button ever since I started playing the game, bro. Make sure to change those settings. It's going to help you out a lot, bro. The next tip that I got for you guys is going to be another tip in the settings. Go down to interface. You can actually change your character's colors. As you can see right now, I currently have mine set to green, right? But by default, I believe, yeah, your character is set to yellow. And personally, when I had mine on yellow, as you can see, like this, I... I found myself getting lost a lot because it's not like a super huge like standout color to where you you could accidentally be playing and the next thing you know you're over here then you got no more options and you fall off the stage because it's hard to see where your character is at if you go in your settings interface i changed mine to green you can change it to whatever color you want red i wouldn't recommend red because that's usually what i have to determine like the opponents you can change your your teammates color you can change both of the opponents you can change the opponent's color separately mess around with it see what color you like and whatever works for you bro and then about a little half tip in the interface right you can actually change this to the bottom or the top i currently have mine on the top and with the damage by default it's going to be set to player right so we'll, you can see the damage that you've dealt to your opponent right you're Sorry. way over here and your opponent's like like over there or something you can't really tell how what their percentage is you can actually set the damage to be on your player or you can have it on the scoreboard up here i like to have it on both i can look here and i can look here that way you can just get a quick glance at the top it's in big numbers bro this is going to be actually outside of gameplay go down here and you see your daily missions right you want to get a character in the future unlike me where i unfortunately had to take the l and i had to buy morty because i did not have enough gold bro you know go in here and it there's a mode that says bots and you can actually go in playing versus bots whether it could be be 1v1s 2v2 depending on what your daily is you can actually complete your dailies in the games with the bots don't think that these are actual people they're literally bots bro look at them <laughs> they're literally going ham over there but yeah you can literally just go in here do whatever daily it is that you have and then you know that's that do that if you're in desperate need of gold so you don't have to fight against people that are either going to lose to you and run and run away or beat you and teabag you because they think they're the best people in the world bro <laughs> but yeah good tip to know good thing to know another thing that can actually help you out the tutorials in this game i don't take my own advice bro i've only done the one for cooldowns but they have a lot of good resources in here for new players to learn things you can learn about dodging cooldowns i stick on the wall armor moves fast fall attack decay how to fight in the air which is very important because this game is very air oriented dodge jumping spikes which is like one of your main ways of getting killed dodge attacks like how to deal with getting knocked back far and then like you know stuff that's has special properties like as you can see it's superman ice breath it's gonna freeze you if you get stuck in it too much don't skip these tutorials actually take the time to go through these and learn these things they, they teach you a good amount of stuff bro you will be better than the person that didn't watch them like me bro <laughs> don't be like me bro watch the tutorials all right bro the final thing that i want to tell you guys don't want it done bro i know you watching this whenever we feel like we're gonna lose and we can't beat the person so my tip is to always stay and rematch bro because there's always something to be learned there's really always something to be learned. You're not going to get better at the game, bro. If they're constantly on you, they're not letting you play the game and you feel like, oh, I'm, I can't win. So I'm just going to leave, bro. 
no 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 don't do that and also a little tip that i can also tack on to this watch streamers that play your characters bro so me i'm a wonder woman main so someone that i can go to is nakat which is evo 2022 winner the first evo for multiverses if i wanted to learn the character and get better with the character i would go to his channel you have another streamer in key one dr He's another streamer that's pretty good with the character. So yeah, make sure to find somebody that you can watch, someone competent. It could be someone that's slightly better than you. It could be someone who's a, who's pro level at the game. Don't take everything set in stone when you're watching people who aren't as good at the game. You gotta know what is good to learn and what is not good. That just comes with experience. Once you do play the game more often, you things start to click. You'll be surprised how much you can learn. There's a lot of games that I play where I just watch someone do something where it's even a combo or a setup something like that where they could teach you that you never knew about before that is going to be all the tips for you guys like the video and comment let me know what you guys think bro because i'm Nani? the freak bro that joint just started playing in my ears bro but yeah make sure to like comment subscribe click the bell so you see we post more videos gonna have some more tips videos you know we can all learn the game together bro it's been tavius remember to always smile and have a great day i love you guys and you guys peace